He's the Motswako rapper from Muffy Gang who landed like a musical tornado and took the triple at the 2013 SA Music Awards. Best Hip Hop Album, Best Male Artist and the Big Prize Album of the Year. That's one side to the man. The other is revealed in the company of a Sandomaku, mother of their daughter Nia and an actress, producer and TV presenter in her own right. At the River Lodge here at Thornybush, we had a weekend to get to know the couple amidst a five-star experience. Oh yes, Woo. this is what oh, I'm talking this is about. Beautiful. <gasps> Nothing but the best of the good liar. This is so fresh. You know what I'm fresh. saying? JB, I've been to the Kruger many times before, but this screams luxury. This is the River Lodge. This is the latest addition to the Thornybush collection. Um, it's privately owned, and about a year ago we took it over and we turned it into commercial lodge. Uh, and it lends it to South a wonderful experience in the bush. Entrance that overlooks a beautiful view. We've got to explore that, right? Yeah, yeah. check it out. Hit it. <laughs> the lodge sits in the 14,000 hectare Thornybush Private Nature Reserve. JB, this view is nothing short of breathtaking and that over there must be the Timbabati Riverbed. Yes, indeed it is. The lodge is situated in the southern part of the Thornybush Nature Reserve, which forms part of the Greater Kruger. And we offer the classic Big Five Safari here. The suites at the lodge are situated on the riverbed of the Timbavati, uh, neatly tucked away. But the big surprise for you is that we'll show you to the Royal Suite later, which is around the corner. Oh, mm. speaking of Royal Suite, yes. you guys are celebrating something really special today. It's your fifth year anniversary and you actually met really close to here. Yeah, we, we met here in Nelspreet at a place called Tula Mahashe. Mm -hmm. I was there for, to rock a show. She was there with a what? I was there with my friend and like, you know, she was working, um, she wasn't allowed a plus one, so I had to be, you know, part of the crew and I remember I just held the yeah. lights for them. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, she was interviewing me, she was doing the lights and then, big mistake, she looked into my eyes and uh, then I snatched her. So five years <laughs> later, Who would have known, yeah. right? So we really, truly feel so special celebrating it with you guys. The lodge lends itself to total privacy, with five suites sleeping a maximum of 10 guests. The indigenous bush surrounds offer the unique alarm clock of over 500 different bird species breaking into song. And Chris almost did the same. I can understand why they call this the royal suites, but wait a second, I don't see any suites. This must then definitely be the royal lounge and entertainment area as well as a beautiful kitchen. Look at this view. Absolutely spectacular. This is the Timbavati River and I've heard of stories about wildlife coming up straight to this pool. Elephants coming out to drink out of it. Absolutely spectacular. And then of course you have a beautiful area here on the deck just to chill out, relax and read a book. But I'm very excited to see what my room looks like. Follow me. Swimming is almost always on the cards with a near perfect year-round climate. Drives and foot safaris tend to leave you pushed. And when you do turn in, it's to this. Chic, rustique, and a little touch of antique. Hey, I'm a poet and I know it. <laughs> the luxury is first class, surrounded by over 300 kinds of bushfell trees. This is beautiful. First thing that catches my eye, check this. Freestanding bath, overlooking nature. That is exceptional. They call it an escape with good reason. For Asanda, it's been a busy year producing a documentary about Cooley's life. She'll soon be modeling for an agency who embrace women proud of their curves. And she's also mother to three-year-old Nia. Uh, All this for us? Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm also just like, geez, I don't have words, man. I, I, I honestly haven't experienced this ever. Yeah. yeah. You're both exceptionally busy, you're both in entertainment, but where do you find time for family? You know, I think she strikes the balance. She holds down the family, and what made it work was when I was at the peak of my career, she gave me the, the time to shine. She gave me the space to push and work. And I think that's what I really admire, just the selflessness, and she takes care of family, man. I run the streets. 
<laughs> no, but Shane, still to give him some credit. I must say, you know, uh, we also do strike a balance, you know what I mean? Where I seem to fall short. For instance, if I'm like out of audition or on set or oh, yeah. busy writing, he'll go and fetch Nia or he'll take care of her, watch her while I can't. So he definitely makes time for family. Let's talk about this bundle of joy who you both seem to love so much called Nia. She's just amazing. Like, yeah. I, yeah. Like we fall in love with her and the thing is she was also born at such a pivotal time in our lives, you know. 2013 was like a roller coaster of a year. You know, with Cooley winning all his accolades and all of that and then Nia being born and then literally three months later the shooting incident happens. And you know, just to know that she was there through it all, I know that's what got him through it. Nia just reminded me of the the small things. Yeah. The important, you know, just happiness then that, that you know it's it's not always about money and chasing and I think that's what she, you know, brought into my life. Just being grateful, you know, to just have this amazing daughter, this gift. Yeah. And live in the moment. Yeah. Since 2009, Cooley has been involved with Mufftown Heights, the annual Joburg Hip Hop Festival he co-founded. But family is his tonic. I love the fact that you attribute your healing to your daughter, but obviously she must get these qualities from somewhere. Asanda, what is Cooley like beyond the lights, camera, mics, action? She may look like me, but she is her dad through and through. She's such a like, you know, warm spirit and like loving. So when I describe me, I'm describing Cooley. She has a great sense of humor. Yeah, she's very funny. And that's, that's something I was going to say about Cooley. He's really funny. He's really caring. He's got a big heart. You know, a lot of people don't see what he does behind the scenes. I mean, with family, friends. So he's very warm hearted. He's a people's person, although he's also a bit of a loner. <laughs> like he loves his space because <laughs> obviously I, I, I can understand because with fans and the stage you can get a bit too much sometimes yeah. so he likes spas spa treatments hello yeah that's his thing Cooley was about to get a spa treatment from nature herself steering us through this Mpumalanga forest was professional nature guide and conservation pilot David Hancock who had a grand reveal in store Welcome guys, this is the Sudini Waterfall. We're here in the Blyder River Canyon, the largest green canyon on earth. Incredibly beautiful here, as you can see, subtropical, lush green forest. The vegetation is second to none. The water is crystal clear. You can drink some of it if you want to. Comes out of a spring in the mountain, way, way up there. The animal life here is incredible. So diverse, you get your leopards, your hippos, antelopes, all the primates you find in Southern Africa, we find incredible, incredible bird life here. You know, your crowned eagles, your luries. It's so amazing that this indigenous forest is so close to the bushveld. Yeah, absolutely. We're not even an hour's drive from the world-renowned Kruger National Park. Right down in the valley here, as the crow flies, not even a few kilometers, you can find your big five. And that's what makes this place so special. What sort of activities do you guys enjoy away from the hustle and bustle? Traveling is always number one. Yeah, yeah, we love traveling. We recently went to New York, which was amazing. Yeah, I went to go check out Kanye. So we did New York and Miami. It was so, amazing. Mm, yeah, music yeah. concerts, traveling, new places. Yeah, I mean, wow. we, this we is the still best. have to come back. This has topped it by far. There are those happy to enjoy looking at nature's splendor and those who just have to be part of it. David and Chris decided to try some of the diving routines from the Rio Olympics. Asanda and Cooley tell us they aim to tie the knot in the near future and their relationship suggests their marriage will be a real success. They are a very real couple as we found at the Schlockermela project outside Hoodspreit. As part of their HIV awareness and treatment work, Schlockermela and director Christine Dupreer run a herb and vegetable garden providing fresh produce for a local clinic and creche. Christine, not only is Stony Bush a great game reserve to be at, but they're also very much focused on giving back to the community. They are wonderful partners to have. Stony Bush is also giving back to Chlokomela, um, we are NGO, and what they're doing, they are buying our herbs, and on the end, if they buy our herbs, then we can put the money back into our HIV clinics, TB, prevention of cancer, 
How many lives have been changed through this great initiative? Annually, so we see about 25,000 patients and um, families in these farming communities. Wow. Kuli, I'm sure you'll agree that giving back to the community is very important. Is there anything that you're busy with? My main thing has always been music. So I'm just trying to, you know, grow an earth artist and develop them, you know, so they can get to a level where they can take care of their family, you know. To achieve this, Cooley's founded and manages both a studio and record label. A lot of local artists or rappers that I've interviewed have said that they were inspired by you. But who's your inspiration? Oh, man, I'm inspired by guys like Double HP, who put me on, who brought me into the game. And I always tell people I'm from the school of Jabba, you know, I learned a lot about humility. A lot, I learned a lot about respecting the fan. And I learned a lot about breaking bread, you know, with other artists, you know. So that's why I've carried on tradition, you know, to introduce the game to guys like Noti. And now we've got this guy called MDB from Gigi Lemayne. I'm always, that's, that's our thing. I think it's a Mafi Gang thing, but thanks to WHP. South African hip hop is really huge at the moment. Where do you think it's going? We're heading for that world stage, you know. We're, we're, we're taking over the globe. And, uh, I want to be there to witness it. Cooley is aiming for a Grammy and to spread his music worldwide. He and Asanda love the story of Roots of Rhythm, this local group who puts on a performance in their honor. Love it. Now that I wasn't expecting, this has to be the best part of the trip. I yeah. heard the drums yeah. in the background. I wasn't sure as well. Like, <laughs> you thought it was be? birds. You <laughs> thought it was birds. I thought it was somebody's ringtone. But we like got to closer. come to this and the fireplace, oh my gosh, guys, you've outdone yourself. Like this, I, I, I'm actually getting goosebumps just from that. So. Well, it is the best of the good life and you guys deserve nothing but the best. Oh, yeah. But one thing I never asked you is whether or not you had even been to the Kruger before. You know what? Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> this was my first time in the wild. This was my first time in the wild. I was a bit bung, but you know, <laughs> eventually I just got, you know, got into it and I enjoyed it. So thank yeah. you guys, because I've been trying to convince him yeah, yeah. to come, but you know, he's just yeah, so, yeah. I mean, we can't even watch normal television, see lions without him freaking out. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so glad he experienced this with you. And yeah, next time we'll probably come back because he's tried it before. There's a lot of talent right here. Yeah. Usually, when we have rappers on the show, I do a beatbox, but since we've got a drum, yeah. I think you're gonna spit some lines on, check it out. on a bit check of a drummy. Let's do it, let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it, let's go. <laughs> Here we go, you ready? Are you, are they gonna sing something? Light a torch up, we pour the love from a lighthouse in Accra. Here to tell you Africa no longer ride a shotgun. Jesus made once over to my wood at the vodka. I was running through my wood, the hunger to a locked up. Fire burning inside me, check out the blanca. Oh, 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 oh